Hi everyone, um, this is my 28 week pregnancy vlog. Um, we are now in Idaho. <laughs> um, I'm really excited, it's been beautiful. It's been about a week and a half that we've been here now. Um, we road tripped up here and uh, we did a little camp along the way somewhere in Utah um, with our trailer. And uh, it was and it was great. Um, the kids loved stopping at the campsite. There was cottonwood trees um, everywhere. So for those of us who have allergies, which I have, <laughs> um, there it looked like it was snowing. And so the kids were like, this is amazing. Um, and Eric and I were like, I can't breathe. <laughs> but um, it was great. It was wonderful. And um, we're just so uh, grateful to be up in Idaho where we come every summer. And, um, and I have been, funny enough, I've been pregnant around the same time each time that I've been pregnant. And... Each summer um, of that pregnancy, we come to Idaho. So I'm excited to um, be able to be here and kind of have a different pace of life and, um, you know, spend some quality time with the kids and my husband before our new little baby is born. Um, 28 weeks is... Uh, I mean, it's different in some ways because, um, you know, the last time I talked to you, I think I was at 25 weeks and um, my body is definitely feeling pregnancy when I sleep at night. When I was sleeping in the trailer, um, I sleep, but I have to get up like three or four times a night to go pee. And I was just reading something where... The doctor said if that's happening to you, that's normal. But there's if you lift your belly when you're peeing, um, it takes the pressure off of your bladder and then you can um, fully empty your bladder. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but <laughs> it's a good idea. Um, when I sleep at night though my hips are killing me so um I'm gonna be doing a little research over the next couple of weeks and see if there's something that I can do um to help alleviate some of that pain because I have this amazing body pillow I got through Sprout San Francisco this store that's um awesome and everything's chemical free and um, wonderful and um the pillow is super comfy and it's the perfect size, um, but my pressure on my hip from the weight and then the belly, I think, pulling down from laying on my side is pretty intense. So it'll wake me up and then I'll just switch to the other side and then fall back asleep. And sometimes if it's too much, then um, I stay up a little bit longer and, you know, it's, I get tired. I mean, it's the morning here right now and I definitely didn't sleep amazing last night so <laughs> um it's raining here today and um the funny thing about the rain is that in Los Angeles we don't get a lot of rain so the kids were like can we put on our rain boots and go play outside <laughs> um so it's really cute they're like having a full muddy rain experience right now um but you know, it's it was interesting, like I was worried about, I usually fly when we come up here and fly with the kids and I was a little worried about just the 17 hours of driving and what that would be like. And it was um, so much more relaxed than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, my kids were still doing homeschool um, on our drive, so they had to check in on their, um, with their like class and, you know, they had like two more days of school left. And 
And that was really cute because they were on the road and like showing everybody like, look where I am. Um, and then I had to wear compression socks, which I usually do on a plane anyway, but um, I gotta say that's not my favorite <laughs> to wear compression socks because they're so tight and kind of uncomfortable, but I didn't swell. So um, I'm sure they did their job and I moved my legs a lot. And, you know, I did some research before we left just to see like, are there exercises you're supposed to do or how often do I need to be getting out of the car? And, you know, because of um, the coronavirus, we're not stopping anywhere. So we're not stopping to get food and, um, we weren't stopping to go to the bathroom anywhere. Like we had the kids going to the bathroom, you know, in a bucket <laughs> and we had, we were pulling our trailer so we could pee in our trailer if we needed to. Um, but it's just funny. It was just such a different way to travel. And, um, I had packed food and we had a lot of snacks and things to eat. Um, I hear someone coming up the stairs right now, and I'm wondering if that's Esme trying to find me. Probably. Let's see if she comes in here. Um, so, anyway, that was, um, you know, kind of how we did the road trip. So, we listened to music. We had books on tape. Uh, the kids are reading this book or listening to this book called Mercy Watson right now, and, um, Wyatt had to listen to that book for school, for kindergarten. And it's a book series of like six books, I think, and it's a chapter book. And um, Esme was so into it too. And I think Mercy's a pig. I have sort of was listening, but I don't, I can't see the pages and I'm not exactly sure. I think he's a pig. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's just a really cute, really sweet book. Um, they listened to that on our travels and, um, they heard their favorite songs and then we talked for a while and then Esme, once we got further into Utah and Idaho, she would get so excited about, um, the cows and the horses and she would just be like, wow, look, there's a horse or there's a cow, you know? And uh, it would crack me up because I grew up in Kentucky. So that's just kind of my neighbors were cows, you know, and horses. And um, I love that she was so into that. It was really cute. Um, so I think the weirdest part for me with the pregnancy is that I'm going to be up here now for a while. And I'm not really going to be checking in with them, um, you know, my appointments or seeing the baby or anything. And It'll be interesting uh, in the next couple of weeks, you know, typically around 30 to 32 weeks, you go in for an appointment to find out the position your baby is in. I can't really tell right now what position my baby's in, but, um, but it'll be interesting to see if I can figure that out while we're here without a doctor, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I might have to like, I may crumble and need to go visit a midwife or a doctor or something here and be like, okay, is there anything I need to be doing? <laughs> um, but anyway, that's about it. Uh, we just, you know, are taking it easy, cooking here at home and enjoying the um, beautiful Idaho weather and sky. And so um, I'll be back and chatting with you at probably 30 weeks. Bye.